Well, what is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Schick. And this is the wonderful outdoors. That's Carter stuffing his face full of some breakfast because it's early morning. I just asked him, are you excited? He goes, I gotta wake up first. The sun is just rising. We're nice and early. Today's mission, like the title of the video says, Big Pike, or we're hoping for Big Pike. Who knows whether we catch any or not. But fingers crossed, like I said in previous videos, I just do my intro knowing or not i do my intro ahead of time i have no idea what's going to happen so yeah we're going to hunt some big pike that's the that's the goal i've got uh swim baits rigged up i've got glide baits rigged up i've got top water rigged up I've got like the three major well, that's four clayton I've got the three major baits when it comes to pike fishing so let's uh let's get the starcraft to some pike spots and fingers crossed if we can catch a big mama 46 is the goal today, Carter. 46? 46 is the goal. That's the goal. Let's do it. Kill cord. Oh, Carter's got the heated uh, tiller handle on for me already. Thanks, buddy. Oh, does that feel good? Like it. I am so revved. So revved. I've had a big pike craving for a while. I want a 46 inch in the boat. I'll be happy with the 42. Okay. Sorry, I'm gonna have to catch the, whoa. <laughs> my thumb slipped off my reel. That's a great start, Clayton. You are so good at fishing. What was that? And I gotta be careful on this cast. That was brutal. Be a great time for you to catch a fish now, Carter. See, even, even Clayton has mess ups. Not often though, like once, once every couple weeks. Oh, 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 oh. Had a nice follow, Carter. Had a good follow. Like a, like a mid thirties follow. Came, could just see him down there. Okay, here comes spot number two. Spot one was a bust, not gonna lie, but that's okay. We're gonna probably transition to some rocks. The fish don't really seem to be in the weeds at all. Most of the weeds are dying already. As it happens in fall time a lot, the weeds will die and they'll lose all their, their life basically. They won't be green, they'll be brown. They'll be dying, they'll be slimy, they'll be gross. All the insects leave because the weeds aren't putting off any oxygen anymore. That's a good time to transition over to some rocks, drop-offs, steep, steep drop-offs in that sense. So yeah, spot two. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Not a giant, but oh, it just came up and hammered it. This will be a, a this will be a medium netter, Carter. Spot two. That thing just rocked it too. Holy man, I just never get tired of pike. So strong. It's a nice fish. Oh, thing just absolutely hammered me. I can try to bring him to you there. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Oh, good job, good job. Man, he splashed the boat, like splashing full of water right now. The water's warmer than the air. <laughs> here he comes. So you nope. should go swimming is what you're saying. Yeah, just go swimming. If you're cold, Carter, just go swimming. Nope. It's like a 36, no, 37. Something like that, probably 37, 38 inch pike. Wow. He's just not ready. No, he's like so strong. He's got the hard eel. Just ooh. probably could have got him there. Nice, good job. Nice job keeping the water. Here, prone the, prone the net around the cameras and perfect. Okay, a spot lock here. So Carter can keep fishing and we'll deal with this fish. Show him off quick here, give him a quick measure. And get him back but i'm thinking like a, what's your guess car 37 yeah i'm gonna say 37 and a half <laughs> it's 37 and a quarter, and a quarter. <laughs> 37 and a quarter nice just a nice healthy fish not a giant not a small one 
but a nice one. Nice! Oh, I just, I probably, I hear I'm standing right in front of Carter, probably when he set the hook and I was resetting my, my head camera. Uh, just a small guy. Just a small guy. Not, not crazy small, but nice. Okay. Carter's uh, just nailed one. I was standing probably right in front of the camera and I was resetting my GoPro right as he laid into a wicked hook set. Not bad. Oh, look where that bait is. Holy Murphy. He had that bait just inhaled. I'll help. I'll land this. I won't even net this one, Carter. We'll just grab it right here. That fish inhaled that bait. Okay. Whoa! Almost rehooked himself. Woohoo! That's why it's good to deal with them outside of the boat like that. When they freak out, they're just in the water. They don't hurt. So this video, I'm going to show what every fish is caught on. Mine was caught on a Savage Gear sand eel, and just as I was dealing with that fish, or basically just released it. Carter's fish was on a 4D perch shad by Savage Gear, eight inch. <laughs> oh, how cool was that? Small or whatever, doesn't matter. The way they come up and just hammer it like that. Oh, that's so cool. Switch to a big glide bait for a little bit here. Big nine inch shine glide. I've used the seven inch ones before, but I haven't really uh, used the big ones much at all yet this year or ever actually. Oh, what you got? Big? No. <laughs> Did it hit you right at the boat? <laughs> like right at the boat. <laughs> Unreal. Unreal. See, Carter, there's always hope. There's always hope. Oh, it's not bad though, hey? I think he might be hooked for me. That's what, actually, Carter, that's a big fish, isn't it? No. Uh, Carter, that's bigger than the one I caught this morning. It's like a 38 and a half. Is it big? No, just a 38 and a half. We're just so spoiled, Carter, right? It's a good fish. Carter went back to the old secret weapon, the seven inch uh, shine glide. Nice, okay. It's a nice fish, Almost Carter. fell in the lake. Did you? <laughs> Almost pulled you in or what? <laughs> Love it. Almost pulled him in the lake. Hmm? Almost pulled you in the lake. Oh, 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 I'm hooked, I'm hooked. I'm You're hooked? hooked? Oh yeah. Fish is off though. Okay, grab the fish, go show them off to the camera. Talk um, a little bit. Measure them quick. Yeah. 37 and a half. Show them off, dump them in. Nice. Nice. 37 and a half. The quarters bear wine. Nice. Okay, grab the hook cutters. So the one thing with dealing with nets I find, this tend to happen. And as you might have heard when I was dealing with that fish, I went, I'm hooked, I'm hooked. Even though barbless, sometimes that bump in there that they have there when you pinch the barb will still kind of catch. I can't pull it out, maybe. I shouldn't have even tried yet, no. I can't, and even if I could right now, I'm gonna show a quick little technique that helps out really, really, that'll basically make things a lot easier. What I did here is I took a piece of braided line, uh, like a, I don't know, about a two foot section, and I tied a uni uni knot together to make a loop. This is like 30 pound braid, something like that. And what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna put it over this treble hook onto this uh, shaft right here, or the, the one hook. And then I'm going to actually do a twist with it and then do another one. I'm going to get Carter to likely pull on this just because it is easier with two people. But so I've kind of created a little twist in there right now. And now what I'll do is I'll get Carter to pull on this. But honestly, the biggest thing with getting these hooks out is applying down pressure like this. So I'm going to apply, and that hurts a little bit, but I'm going to apply good pressure there. And then Carter is going to go one, two, and then yank it. So we're gonna pop this thing out, no problem. I could actually, if I was by myself, I could pull it, I could grab it just like that, and I could probably pop it. Actually, you know what, I think I'm going to do it too. That way I don't have to put Carter through any of this. So if I'm by, your, by yourself right there, I got pressure with my pinky finger, like that, one, two, three, just like that. <laughs> it uh, doesn't feel amazing, but you'd be surprised what getting that, that braided line in there and applying that pressure 
on the downward section of the hook there. And yeah, there's still just a little bit of bump left on that treble, so. The line trick works really, really good. It's something we should probably do more on this channel eventually or show it a little bit better way to do it like in terms of like maybe there's not wind in a boat and bad sun angles and all that stuff but yeah as you can see it came out with actually quite uh, a good little pop and it's because it didn't have a barb on there it's going to come out obviously a lot easier than it would if it had a barb but even with a barb you can do that so then something really good to have in your boat this next care waterproof tape I already have one out here but this stuff is awesome band-aid tape i use it all the time i'm not really bleeding but i might uh no blood's kind of it's kind of stopped maybe i don't have to put any on but anyways if you do have a wound that uh won't close on you this stuff right here sticking with the theme of what we caught all the fish on right there a seven inch shine glide this has been a staple for us as you can see it's cut there to get it out of the net and then i also cut the split rings in here to get it out of the net and uh, away from my hand type of thing too so right here nipex nipex maybe there might be they might be called whatever they are i definitely recommend hook cutters in your boat all the time you'd be surprised how many times they'll uh they'll come in handy not a boy little guy walleye little walleye Nope, pike. Pike, I'll get him for you. What's, I've already got one hook in my hand. What's one more, right? I'll get him for you. Okay, see ya, buddy. Got a boy. Small again. What's that? Small. Okay, there you go. Two more casts, that's good. I'm tired too. If you're ever gonna get one in the last cast, today is the day. No way. Yeah. I'm not sure size either. This is hilarious. <laughs> I don't know if it's big or not, but. Get to grab the net just in case if it's if it's big it's just coming at me it's not bad it's not bad be a good way to end our day anyway it's not bad carter ready oh yeah it's big it's big it's big just wait <laughs> last cast <laughs> here he comes here he comes here he comes <laughs> yeah carter last cast are you kidding me? Last cast. <laughs> After I faked the hook set and everything. Unreal. That's big. That's nice. Last cast. Wow. So I, I, I just told Carter, I was like, you know what, Carter? I was like, last cast. We've had, a, we've had a, a great day in terms of catching a couple fish. We've worked hard. We've fished for, what does that GoPro say? Uh, Carter's GoPro will say here for eight hours we fished for eight hours I haven't caught anything crazy i'm like last cast carter I, I pretended like i had a bite and i stood up and i got whacked you would not believe that I, or I can't believe that happened the fake hook set was actually fake 40 and a quarter big fat 40 and a quarter to end our day and that fish has a pile of girth unreal not super long obviously but super chunky wow and there she goes. <laughs> so that's a way to end on last cast, eh? Like, and I know like we could like literally have a, we could set that up and we could pretend we could say last cast a hundred times over, but it legit happens or happened. That's awesome. So yeah, Carter's getting the hook out of the net. I got that one on the Savage Gear Sand Eel, which I showed earlier. We were both using Savage Gear uh, eight foot battle techs with 300 tranks from ranging from 50 to 65 pound line. And uh, those eight foot battle, battle techs were uh, heavy and then an extra heavy. One's made for one to four ounce baits and one's made for two to six ounce baits, I believe. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, get outside.